so this will all make sense when I drop the video, but I'm really exhausted, y'all, and just drained. So for a promo shoot for my brand, I'm jumping out of an airplane. And yesterday was the day that I was supposed to jump and I get there, got all worked up, prepared for it, did the video tutorial on site, signed my life away, was about to get into the uniform. And they said I couldn't jump. Now it's already something that's scary as fuck, right? But I built myself up to it, got my fears and my anxiety, anxiety out of the way. And I was like, I'm a jump. And I couldn't. So I was really let down and disappointed. And then today, I was supposed to jump again. And that was hard as hell going to sleep with this on my mind after already thinking it would be done yesterday. Come home. And all that energy too, like, is a lot. Building up to get to that place of like, okay, we're here, we're ready to do this. It's a lot of fucking energy, especially for me not to have jumped. So today I was supposed to do it all over again. And then the skydiving place called and said that the weather doesn't look good for the day and they don't recommend that I jump. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just like really disappointed at this point. At first it was like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. And I had my whole team there. Camera guy, editor, flew in from New York. So it wasn't just like a hobby, like, oh, let's go, you know, a random let's jump. It was something that was very thoroughly planned out, very, very strategic in how it was planned out. And I can't jump again. So I'm just like drained from that idea of having to schedule another day. I had my hair done. I had my makeup done. It was all set up for it to happen yesterday and if not yesterday okay today and it's still not happening today so I'm just really drained and I think it makes me even more tired at the thought that it's not done and I still have to like schedule and plan it but it's one of those things where with skydiving you obviously don't want to force it like I'm going to listen to them and you know that my life is online but this is the process. Things don't always happen the way you plan for them to. And you got to you gotta be open to that going into it and also accept it because shit happens. But it's irritating. And it also has got me thinking, like, do I even want to fucking jump anymore? It's like making me feel like I want to change my mind, which I can't do that because I have a well planned out treatment for my first promo video for why fear and I, I want to stick to it I just want to be safe and I want to be cautious <sighs> so there's that and I don't know when I'm going to jump because it's like Christmas week and you know I just don't know when that's going to happen maybe Maybe it can happen this week. But I also like have my hair done specifically for the jump. So I would like to do it while my hair is still like this. I mean, I could always get it done again. But it's just annoying. I have to like reschedule everything. And kind of like tuck my energy like. Uh-uh-uh. So I had a really long week. And it was my last week of filming for Black Lightning before Christmas break. And I had a long week of shooting. I was in almost every scene. They were really emotional scenes, so it's draining. And then I was like, okay, I take care of my wife. Fear shoots this weekend, and it didn't quite happen that way. So it'll get done. I just wanted to tap in and share that the process doesn't always go how you want it according to your timeline things happen life happens but i think the most important is making sure that i'm safe and i am so free schedule here we come boo